During the break, Yago Dora got started. Yeah, Gatinho, Gatito. As Yago Dora is known in these areas of the world. No stranger to Mexico is Yago. And a beautiful flow on his backhand. Smaller looking wave for Yago. Beautiful bottom turn right there. Great extension. Love that top turn combo. And dude, for somebody his size, that tall. I'm kind of stuck on the Superman, Mitch. I, I love your breakdown there. A version of a, you know, an okay Superman and a good one. Full <laughs> extension. And I'm hoping Pedersen gets a chance to do it again. You know, he tried to do it all the time on the QS, and they never give him enough credit, given that he never fully extended his airs. Lost early after a big start, and also at Nervine. Down the line with... Yago Dora, what do you think here? No, and I think this is smart surfing, a great move on his behalf. Already has the five, which was a well-earned five-point ride, too. Gets a 4-1-7 on this one, beautiful flow. Great use of the whole area of the wave, too, Joe. I love that bottom turn that Dora has on his backhand. Just for fun. And then Mikey Wright, he got a wave uh, just after the break. 5-8-3. I love Mikey surfing. It is going to be definitely a bummer to not see him compete in the future, taking a little bit of time to hang out with his lovely partner. Some video parts are going to be incredible to watch. I'll tell you that much. Look at this wave lining up nicely for Mikey. Lay back dagger on the inside. Bone climbs it nicely. It was a close heat, really only a one point difference. This is the uh, previous wave of Yago Dora during the interview. Backhand's looking sharp. So, so good. Picked the right wave. Difficult foam climb. So thus far, able to generate speed and get out to this section. Is forced to carve. You can see how the wave backs off a little bit, Chris. That's why you see him apply pressure on that tail. Looking for something big on the inside. You can see how they widen their stance up a little bit more. Thank you, Chris. Uh, you know, I love playing WSL Fantasy Surf. And uh, on my Fantasy Surf team, I put Federico Moraes because I thought that long right-handers would be one of Federico's strengths. But I want to hear from Federico himself your connection with this wave and how you're feeling about it. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, good to see you, Kaipo. And I'm feeling really good. Um, I was here like eight years ago when I was doing the QS. We used to have a combat zippers. Uh, so we used to come here, me and Ryan and Dog, we came here like twice before the comp just to do a little block and try it. And, and live action, Chris. Yago again. Yago Dora on his backhand. Of course, Yago, we know him as a high flying surfer. So comfortable in the air. We've seen some incredible airs go down already in this event. Gabriel Medina with the miracle rodeo, AKA Gorkin flip earlier this morning. But Yago, super creative, very skate influenced. If he gets a proper section, we will see something radical. I yeah. guarantee it. Absolutely. And speaking of radical, that's what he was hoping to do on the inside section, unfortunately. Slapping the water because he knows he would have liked to finish strong. Timmy Patterson is a, a, a shaper, a designer that you've got to be so happy for. You know, just because you finally get that perfect match of surfer and board and big things happen. And right now big things are happening for Yago Dora on his that Viola-shaped Mayhem surfboard. Whipping that board up and into the lip on the open face, perfectly placing those turns down the line. You can tell Yago's working hard right now. A lot of times he makes it look very easy. Bit of a stumble there from Yago though, Chris, but he recovered nicely. Whoa. He turned the heat on this wave, a 6.87. Well deserved, top to bottom surfing, so smooth. Compare that to Italo, for example. Italo, a surfer that is of smaller stature, is able to really you know, whip his board quickly. Yago, his legs is compressing and extending. This man is so powerful, six foot in height. But Yago gets the win over Mikey Wright. We've got a lot more surfing to come. The GOAT has entered the chat. You're watching the Corona Open Mexico presented by Quicksilver. Stay tuned.